hello guys welcome back my name is Muhammad Ali and in this tutorial we are going to retrieve and display all the contacts for a specific user that is let's say this user has only one contact and the second user has also only one contact which is this one so we have to retrieve and display the contacts for a specific user so for that let us go back to our Android studio here we have our contact security so we will be retrieving and displaying all the contacts of a specific user using the firebase recycler adapter okay and as you know that firebase recycler adapter need two parameters the one we have already is the contacts okay and the second one is the inner class i mean the public static class that we will create for retrieving i mean for connecting our this design sorry inside the resource we have this contact design which is this one so let's just do that quickly come here to the let's come here to the notification activity first and just for the time saving what i'm going to do is let's just copy this okay and then close this and on our contacts activity let's just pass this class at the bottom now we have to change it okay so this is our contacts view holder and make sure to change copy paste this name here also now the next important thing is that here if you come to the contact design then we have first this image the id is image contact okay so we have to change this so we have an image view by the name profile image view so let's just first what we want to do is okay one thing image view a text view and a button three things okay so first button text view and an image view remove this relative layout okay so this is our change this to call btn it is important i mean to do these changes and the same i mean here we want to display our username but now let's change the ids for this okay so for the username here on our contact design we have id which is name contact come here and make sure to change this to name contact then second we have a button so the id for this is call underscore btn so make sure to change this to call btn and then we have a image which is our profile image so the id for this one is image contact so make sure to do these changes otherwise your application will crash so these are the fields which are here on our contact design since you know that we will be using the firebase recycler adapter which contain the two built-in methods one is on bind view holder and the other one is the view holder class where we basically connect our i mean this layout to this contact activity so for that uh, we need uh, on start method so here we can just say on start and then inside this first we have to write our query which is which we write inside our firebase recycler options and here we need to pass two parameters the first one is our context model class the second one is our view holder class which is context view holder and you can say options equals to firebase recycler options dot builder make sure to pass context class here and then after this this we can say dot set oh sorry new firebase recycler option dot set query here we will use the reference to the context so for that go to the notifications come here to the top and here we have our context reference just copy it and can just paste it inside our own create contact reference also copy this mo i mean this file source in the string current user id so you will be needing that here okay that's why and 
contact reference then we have to say mauth and we get the current user id also so yeah i mean come down here and we have to pass the contacts reference comma contacts dot class dot build firebase recycler adapter contacts contacts view holder let us give it name as firebase recycler adapter equals to new firebase recycler adapter and make sure to put a semicolon here let first connect over this contact design here so for the time saving let us go to notification activity and from here we can just copy paste this view for the notification and we can just pass that here and we will do the changes here for our context view holder so first of all this pen pen and dot get context and this now the next thing is make sure to change this notification view holder i mean this thing to context view holder view holder and then also context view holder and return the view holder so our uh, yeah i mean this one which is we have to add here our contact design so our design is now connected now all we just need is to display the data on it i mean to display the contacts so if we go back to notification activity here we will need one thing which is to get the id of each item there are number of contacts so we can get it by this uh, get reference i is denote this position int i can get key and storing here make sure to pass the option which is our query basically for mystery cycler options now by using this list user id i mean let's say there are three contacts so each contact carry uh, his id which basically denote this one okay so on the basis of this uh, which means that this person is in the contact list of this one which is at f okay so if you see this oj his name i mean we have to by using this id we can uh, create a reference to our user node and retrieve the information for this person and display it on our contacts and similarly if, if there are number of uh, multiple users in the contact list then we will do for them also just like we did in the notifications page so for that uh, we will be needing a user reference so for the time saving let us just copy paste this user reference from here and then come here and we have to just write this here and then copy this and make sure to write this here user reference okay now come here and after this we can say user reference dot add value int listener new value int listener make sure to put a semicolon here and by the way here we have to pass our list user id for each user so you can say dot child list user id so if any contact exist data snapshot dot exist then we have to uh, get the image and name according to that id okay image and name if you want to display the status then create a text view for on the design and connect it just like we did here okay but only name and picture is important so anyways i mean let's create two string type variables here I initialize here at the top private string and first will be username and the second will be our profile image make sure to initialize it with null same for the username okay and then come down here and we can say username equals to data snapshot dot child for the username we have name 
dot get value dot to string and for the image we can say profile image and it is by the name image let me just confirm it name image okay and now we have to display it so for the username we can say holder let's change the name of all this contact view holder object to just holder so holder dot username text dot set text to username and then picasso dot get dot load and pass the profile image dot into our profile image view profile what is the name of it mean or this one copy okay i mean first we have to write order holder dot profile image view that's it and now we have to set our recycler view so after this uh, i mean on the adapter okay so after this one create view holder we can say con my contact list dot set adapter pass the firebase recycle adapter on it i mean to it and then we can start listening our adapter that's it So I'm going to connect my phone and by the way here we have the server let's just check this Firebase recycle options oh sorry I mean it needs only our context model class okay remove the second parameter I mean only our uh, Firebase recycle adapter needs two parameter work with one one is the context the second one is our static class and one thing before we uh, i mean test the application let me tell you one thing this is our contact reference which is up to this node okay and we have to uh, make it specific for the online user okay let's say if this user is online whose name is muhammad ali and muhammad ali has only one person in his con contact list okay only this account is saved inside the contact list of atf i mean this person okay muhammad ali now let's say if there are two more then under this node there will be multiple IDs like this okay let's say CKOZ then it will store below this ID which means that this person is also in the contact list of this okay so the same is for the other person so we have to pass specific ID of a user let's say uh, now let me just quickly add this dot child and pass the current user ID so on the basis of online user id we have to say that is let's say if this user is online then only the this person uh, contact list we will retrieve and we will display on our uh, contact page so let's just uh, run the application and here you can see i am now logged in uh, uh, sorry i mean i have only one contact which is muhammad ali if you go to the settings then you will see that I am logged in as John Parker okay and if we go to the database let me just tell you guys John Parker has this OJOR OJOR has only one context which is at F and at F is the ID of Muhammad Ali okay so you guys can add I mean create different accounts I mean multiple three or four further accounts and you can send a request to a one person and then check okay so it will and also check the database alongside with it so let's say what I mean is basically that you will have multiple contacts if it is I mean if you receive I mean if you accept from request from uh, three or four multiple peoples okay three or four more people sorry three or four more people then the contacts will basically appear here hope you understand the whole idea this is so simple and so easy.